I'm sure everyone thought that my beard would be gone by now. What happens is I get into art holes in... Once I'm in an art hole, there's no dealing with my beard. Anyways, um, so there are two ways to run for president um, as an opposing president during a crisis. Um, you can be against everything that the, the sitting president does. And let's face it, there are a lot of people that no matter what happened, what, what, there's nothing Trump can do that's positive. It's impossible. And, okay, and let's face it, in this situation right now with coronavirus, um, is Trump worried about the entire economy collapsing because of, um, they've already had to patch up um, some of the short-term lending markets? Um, yes. And so, like, are we in an economic crisis already? Like, no matter what level the stock market's at? Yes. Um, is there a reason for it? Yeah, it's logical. Um, a lot of people are not going to work. A lot of people um, are worried about um, doing anything. Um, like, a lot less money is being spent. Um, and a lot of people don't want to go to work. Uh, so, um, let's, just, let's just face it. Um, we're in a difficult economic situation. And Trump is worried about the economy. Um, other people are more worried about the coronavirus. And he knows that those people exist and he has, okay, but still at the same time, should Trump be more clear about how the severity of it? Yeah. But I feel like everyone kind of knows. I don't think that Trump saying something is going to make me. Oh, okay. What I'm trying to say is I think we need to back the president right now. And I don't care if I'm running as a Democrat and I am a Democrat and if there's anything I know in the entire universe is that the Republicans will not vote for me. I mean, dude, I'm like uh, socially my, my, my belief system is that I like, I am a very liberal person. I, I believe in multiple people getting married if they want. And like, if, if like f five people all want to be in, in love together, they can be in love together. And you know what? That might make them not hate each other as much. And they might, that might involve guys doing each other and girls doing each other and vice versa and whatever. That's like not – like in my mind, there's nothing bad about that. There are a lot of people that deep down in their soul, they're like, ugh, I, I can't handle the idea of someone having sex with, with a person of the same sex. And that's not me. Um, but all, so I, I do realize that socially I, there's no way in hell that I'm going to get Republican – get a lot of Republican votes. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, so that's that's reality. And so I think that I'm pretty much dependent on Democratic Democrat votes, but not really. I mean, I think that a lot of Republicans will vote for me, um, like environmentalist Republicans. And, uh-oh, this dog is on me. And pro, uh, um, and, and, uh, Republicans that have listened to me enough that they're kind of like, all right, I know this guy. And if there's anything I know in my entire life is that this guy will tell the truth when he makes a mistake and he'll tell the truth about the problems that we're facing. And he will be honest. And like, I'm the type of person that will say, Hey, um, the stock market is, is in, in bad shape, but it doesn't have to be in bad shape, but uh, it is in bad shape, and the coronavirus is is a very real thing. And I, I will I will say it how it is, um, and that's probably why I'm I'm a better president. But sometimes you kind of want a president who won't say it how it is, because let's face it, um, anytime Trump says anything, um, the markets will overreact, um, which possibly I, I'm a similar person. That is some sometimes I feel like the markets will overreact. If I do, if I, if I say certain things or do certain things, oh gosh, I just want to go paint this color. It's, it's so hard to explain how I, I don't have any paintings with this color. And like all I've been thinking about all day is painting with this specific color. It's like Alzeron Crimson. And I, I really just um, want to paint something powerful with it. Anyways, so. Um, All I'm saying is uh, I, I think that we need to back Trump and we need to stop being so critical of him because we do need him to be stable. And if you if everyone is attacking this guy so brutally during such a serious crisis, um, it's not going to be productive for 
uh, our, our society because we do need to get behind someone and like, yeah, um, I want to, I'm going to beat him in this election. That's my plan. Um, and Joe Biden, if there's anything I know is he's not going to beat him. Um, if, if, if I have to, if I had to, if I, if I had to vote Joe Biden versus Trump and I'm running as a Democrat right now. And if I say that I'm, I would vote for Trump over Joe Biden, I realize that it would be really bad for me. Do you realize that I, I will say right now I would vote for Trump over Joe Biden? And like, it's, and like, that's unbelievable considering how big of an environmentalist I am. But you know what I know about Joe Biden? Like, there's a reason that I was so tough on his administration that it was so difficult to deal with me because he was difficult to deal with. And, and the, the Obama administration was hell on earth for me. And the Trump administration has been way different, given, even though I'm in a more dangerous situation now than I was then, um, but the Trump administration has been way better. It's completely different. Um, so all I'm saying is... Uh, there, there's a reason that I think what I think. Anyways, so, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I think we need to, we need some leadership out of Trump, and Trump needs to be take the coronavirus seriously. And he need, and I, I, I agree. I shouldn't have compared it to the flu because it is more severe, especially in a lot of countries. But um, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like we do need to take self isolation more seriously. I haven't. I went and bought some acrylic paint today because I want to do acrylic underneath my oils and um, I should have just stayed home. But I, I just, it was like that big of a priority for me. <laughs> Cause like I, I, I've gone mad with my art. Like all, all I want to do is make art. All right. So if uh, uh, one more thing, if, if I was, if, if you've been mean to me in the past, like super mean to me and you probably thought I was crazy and, um, or like you weren't mean to me, you were just, you were mean. Do, do you realize that like I'm not like I have a naughty list and my naughty list is for politicians and stuff like that. It's for people that real like, oh, you want to. And you know what? You know who hasn't been added to my naughty list ever? Trump. Um, but um, I, I mean, the naughty list is, 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 is a joke for one, but it's also it's like you try to get that much power and you step out of bounds. You, you, you break our Constitution that bad and you like go too far or, or, or you just go too far. That's how you make the naughty list. It's not because like you're an asshole to me. Like you're, people are free to be assholes to me. And, and you know who, who's an asshole? Pardon me for keep saying that word a lot. I, I am the way I am, especially in circum, cer certain circumstances. And like, I, I feel like I interact with people that have no idea who I am and they're just normal people. And then they don't realize that they're interacting with a guy who has just like, has like, like at a certain time in my life, I just came out of like a severe trauma and have I just come out with a, of a severe trauma right now? Imaginary World War Three was pretty scary for me. Um, and it's pretty embarrassing and um, all that stuff that happened and, and I, it was pretty brutal. So that kind of, but I, I've had some time to deal with it now. Um, I, I've gotten kind of used to, like, I, I remember at the beginning of the Trump administration, I, I think, I thought someone tried to murder me in Colorado Springs uh, when I was visiting here. It's always when I visit, someone tries to kill me here. Um, but that was before I lived here. And so, um, I, I, I said, I, I said to the people that, that were listening to the bug, I was like, this is not my first rodeo. I, I've, I've like, at, at this point I've gotten kind of used to this. Like you have no, you don't, I, I don't think a lot of you guys understand who you're dealing with because it was new people. And, um, and uh, I, I, I don't really know what happened, honestly. I, I might have been wrong about that whole situation. But um, what, what I am trying to say is, uh, in the past, I wasn't dealing with situations very well. Now, I, I, can, I can handle anything, and I probably shouldn't. Like, I, probably, I probably should be more paranoid, but um, it's weird how confident I am sometimes. Like I'm like, uh, I'm, I, can t I can handle myself and I trust other people are doing surveillance too and doing security. Um, but more than anything, like I, I also am not all oh, like everyone's a cop anymore. Like b before it was like everyone was a cop and it was just so overwhelming because it was. Um, and I feel like I didn't handle that very well. And I actually, I know I didn't handle that. I haven't handled a lot of things very well. That's the truth. I haven't. Like um, I, I, I'm, I, I think I'm meant to be a guy that, Hangs out, and makes art, and like has a like a art commune with a bunch of friends where we paint and make music all day. 
That's that's what I'm meant to do. I'm not supposed to be on the internet and doing this, all the stuff I do, trying and like being in all these difficult situations I, I end up in.